so glossy. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Fuwami channel. I'm your host Sam from Anaheim, California, and it's no shock I am back at the Disneyland Resort. Today I am actually in Disney California Adventure for none other than our very famous Lunar New Year celebration. And today I brought my uncle, of course. Say hello. Hola. Hi. So we're really excited. We got the Sip and Savor passes this year. So it comes with six different foods. And then what he's holding up is actually, passport. it's our passport exactly. And in each of them, it shows like different um, places that you can go to, different vendors. It shows you some of the foods they have on there, also some of the drinks they have on there. So plenty of things to try. So I think our main focus is today are gonna be the food the characters and of course every celebration they have to offer so we're excited all right so this year the lunar new year the year of the dragon is going to be from january 23rd to february 18th and mushu is on our cute little sip and savor pass and along with that pass we have our passport, kind of like the one that you guys saw during Christmas time. If you get seven stamps, there is a merchandise shop next to the Little Mermaid right on California Adventure side where you can get a small surprise prize. We don't know what it is yet, but hopefully you get to see today. Okay guys, and here's my uncle. He's trying another food from Wrapped With Love. This one is the steamed pork and vegetable dumpling with black garlic sauce. He's gonna try it. It's a little chewy, but good. The sauce has a little nice kick to it. I don't taste the garlic. That's the only thing. A little kick to it, but it's still good. Next up on our sip and savor tour is gonna be the barbecue pork bun with kimchi sauce. but it's beautiful mm. the bun is so soft and it has a chew to it and then I don't know if you can see all the red pepper flakes but that's what's making it spicy but it's absolutely delicious and the meat inside moist tender I'm gonna get another one this is probably my favorite food so far so right next to Goofy Sky School, there are two craft stations. The first one is the Wishing Wall, and you get a little Mickey card like this one, and you write down your New Year's wish. I couldn't help but get two cards just because there's so much I want to accomplish this year, but I felt that these were the main two on my list. And then afterwards, you get a little string, and you attach it to the wall with everybody else's hopes and dreams. And right next to there is going to be the calligraphy station where you have three calligraphy artists and they have a set of words there that they will do in front of you. It's so skillful and it takes a lot of technique to be able to write the way they do. I was just in awe. Unfortunately, I was not able to get one of my own because they do close the line around 4.30 because they are officially done at 5 o'clock. So if you do really want to do calligraphy or get one of the drawings for yourself, I highly recommend getting in line no later than 4 o'clock just to assure that your spot is safe in line. And 
right next to the calligraphy and the wishing wall there is a big gazebo that's decorated for lunar new year and i got to meet the goof himself looking snazzy as always it was such a joy meeting him especially in his lunar new year outfit we only get to see it for like three weeks out of the year so don't miss your chance i also did get to see minnie and mickey i didn't get my video but here are some cool pictures of us together Okay, so we have gone to many vendors with an array of different foods. So starting here, we have our Mickey hot dog. Then over here, we have our quesadilla egg roll with a very special sauce. And for dessert, we have decided to get the strawberry milk tea macaron. I'm very excited. It's a very fancy, especially from the side. too but I think this one might beat it just by just a little bit just a little bit this is what you want my uncle and I went to go get some food and we sat over at Sonoma Terrace which was probably one of the best decisions we ever made because it was right along the parade route where we were able to watch Mulan's processional if you don't know what it is it's pretty much a parade with characters and dancers but it's a little bit more than that it's very traditional dancing and they had like the big dragon and their outfits and props were so elegant and beautiful the way they were able to dance in them oh my goodness i wish i could dance like that but anyways the narrator is also speaking about mulan's traditions and her culture's history and it's very fun fact and very inspiring to hear mulan's story the processional takes place at 12.45 and 2.30 normally, however, I always recommend checking the Disneyland app just to make sure that you have the show times correct because they do change occasionally just depending on what's going on for the day. ancient art forms. They represent beauty, grace, and delicacy.
Mulan and friends are honored to share the beautiful Chinese traditions and heritage of this joyous holiday. Please join them in welcoming Wushu as we celebrate the Year of the Tiger. The Moon Flower is a comforting symbol for Mulan, as her father taught her that she would blossom beautifully in her own time. is one of Mulan's favorite traditions. She learned from her ancestors that the wise and powerful dragon dances across the sky to scare away bad luck and bring good fortune in the new year. So the time has come, friends. We have our turning red characters finally after waiting for so long. Tokyo got them first, but we finally have Mei Mei and her mom meeting in California Adventure next to the Grizzly Rapids. Now, I wasn't able to meet them because of the huge line. I should have expected it, but I was able to get a quick video of them as well as the line. So if you guys are trying to meet them, this is going to sound crazy, but I highly recommend getting there at least a half hour to an hour before they start meeting people. And you can always see what time characters are meeting on the Disneyland app. Normally, if you ask a cast member, they'll tell you a estimated time of when they're gonna come out but definitely go off of what the app says and then from there move on to a cast member if need be here we go again so we got the red spice chicken bites yes go ahead take a bite i don't know if it's gonna be spicy or what the spice is building up it's building months. up so every oh, yeah. a lot of things we've gotten today have been a little spicy that is the theme for Lunar New Year's foods is gonna be a little kick of spice and everything, but I don't think it's overwhelming. But it's it's there. It's there. Ooh. This one's got some heat to it. Mm-hmm. If you like spice, this one's for you. I'm not very good with spice, so it might be not too bad, but this is gonna be at outdoor vendor number three. Spiced fried chicken bites. I mean, it says spiced in the name, so I should have guessed, but it's really good overall. Just really spicy for me. Okay, last one. But look how delicious that looks. So crispy, so yummy. I'm really nervous because I see it, like two flakes right here. My mouth is watering from how spicy it is. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. All right, so I finally got the char style ribs over in Hollywood Land. I'm very excited. I've been waiting all day to get this. This is not an outdoor vendor one. This is considered a participating location. And we weren't able to get a stamp here, but we can go get, get it over at the boardwalk area. So keep that in mind if you are going to be doing the stamps today. So glossy, almost like a commercial. Ah. I got this cute little guy at the Sweet Enchantment's little pop-up in California Adventure. He's only gonna be around for the Lunar New Year celebration, so please go check it out. They're super cute. There's different animals to celebrate, like Year of the Snake, Year of the Dragon. Depending on which animal you choose, it, it'll vary in cost, either $12 or $15. But they also do have a wheel, just in case you're indecisive like me. Go ahead and spin it for $12 and you still have a chance to get either the dragon or the phoenix. Hey guys, so just a little disclaimer. So everything that is in the passport is not going to be available for Sim and Saber. So I highly recommend just looking very closely. Next to the name it'll have a fork and a spoon just to show that it is part of Sip and Saber. But if it's like blank right next to it, that means it's just part of the festival of foods that they are going to offer. Not necessarily part of the deal though. Kind of learned that the hard way, but we got these pizzas. It's the bulgogi pizza. It's in the passport, but it is not considered one of the seven saver ones. So I just wanted to put that out there for everyone, just in case it's something you wanted as well. 
All right, everyone, that is a wrap for the night. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a ton of fun. It was my first Lunar New Year and my expectations were exceeded. The food was delicious, the crafts, the entertainment, everything was really fun. Um, you know, even after all this eating, I still got some popcorn at the end of the night. No churros, but if you want more churro content, I will be doing another video on the Food and Wine Festival here in Disney's California Adventure coming up very shortly in about a month and a half. So definitely take a watch. Again, if you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Check out all of the other hosts that are around the states, around the globe. They have lots of other tips and places for you to try. And I really think it's worth it. If you guys love to explore, try new things, this is the network for you. Don't forget, this is the Fuwami Network, where we show you the best original content where you work, live, and play. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!